Good day everyone, it's Tim Aid You here coming at you with another Core Keeper guide. This time, how to find and defeat the final boss of the base content, Ivy the Poisonous Mass. So first up, how to find Ivy. Ivy spawns at a distance of 900 blocks from spawn in the Azios Wildlands biome. You can also respawn Ivy with the Giant Slime Summoning Idol, which you can purchase from the Cabling Merchant. There are two methods I recommend to finding Ivy. The first is to take a screenshot of your map after defeating Azios draw a line between the core and Azios' spawn location, note down the length of this line, you can then add half this distance again to that line to get the distance from spawn Ivy can be found. Azios spawns at 600, Ivy spawns at 900. You can then draw a circle with a radius equal to this new line's length and send the circle on your map. Ivy should spawn along this circle. To perform the drawing, I dropped a screenshot into Microsoft Paint and you can see in the image that the green line was my Azios line, the red was my ivy line, and the circle the spawn ring. I added a blue line from spawn to show where my ivy spawn actually was. The second method is to use a tool that can be found in the description below, the ivy distance finder. It's very easy to use, instructions can be found on the website. I just found it a little bit difficult to locate the great wall ring on my map image. Just like with Glurch, when you get closer, the screen will start to shake. This is the sign ivy's nearby. Moving on to the fight mechanics. Ivy fights with two different type of attacks. The first is with direct contact by jumping towards the player. This attack hits very hard, but is relatively easy to avoid. The second is with an aerial bombardment that will display red indicators on the ground where it will hit. This attack also spawns poisonous slime mobs, which can build up in great number. Ivy's attacks as well as the slime and the slimy ground in her arena will cause the poison debuff. Poison debuff reduces the healing a player receives by 75%. It doesn't, however, seem to affect health on melee hit. Alright, moving on to how to actually kill Ivy. Since Ivy hits incredibly hard, I'd recommend wearing at least Scarlet Armor and consuming a Guardian's Potion to reduce its damage. I recommend wearing the Remedaisy Necklace, which drops from Poison Slimes, which also negates the poison effect. Then I recommend using the Swift Feather, as the dash is not slowed by the slime on the ground. For rings, I wore two clot rings for the health on melee hit, but you could also wear whichever items give you the most damage. In multiplayer, I recommend one player use melee and try to hold Ivy's aggro, while the other players use range damage to whittle its health down. This allows those players to wear their highest damage potential gear. In solo, I recommend using melee if you can time the dodges well enough until it enrages, and then switch to ranged, so it's a bit safer. And there you have it. That should be all the information required to find and defeat Ivy the Poisonous Mass. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, please consider liking and subscribing. If you think I missed anything, please leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.